What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the split toning module in Darktable. And this is the image we are going to work with for this tutorial. We've got a lovely female over here with her two horses. For this tutorial, we need the split toning module. I've got it in my favorites. If you don't see that, please go to more modules and then find it in the list down below. So let me open up the split toning module. And there are a couple of things that you see. The top part is for the shadows and you see the U slider and the saturation slider alongside a color and you see the highlights which is the middle section with a U slider and a saturation slider and then you see a balance and compress I'm going to explain to you guys what this means in a minute and for this image I'm going for an orange and teal look so let me show you guys how that works basically what we need to do is we need to apply the teal in the shadows and we need to apply the orange in the highlights to her face and for that I'm going to move the slider into the blues because this is for the shadows this is one way of doing it if you don't really like this and you want it to be more precise you can scroll the little mouse wheel button away from you or towards you if you scroll it towards you the number decreases if you scroll it away from you the number increases and another way how to use this is by hitting your right mouse button and then fill in the words automatically so i'm going to put it on uh, 65 or 0 0.65 going to keep the saturation on 50 for now and I'm going to do the same thing with the highlights the highlights should be somewhere in the orange like so I want it to be a little bit more orange so I'm going to hit 11 there you go I'm going to keep the saturation as is so I can show you guys the difference so this is the image with the changes applied let me show you guys the original there you go so this is the original image now let me show you guys the split toning again and this is the image with the split tone module being applied let me take a snapshot so I can show you guys how it looks one to one. Now watch closely what happens. The right side is the original side. The left side is the side that I've changed. So I'm going to move this slider to the right. You see that the horse is starting to become a little bit more blue. And she's getting a orange type look. So that's the orange and teal look. Now let me get rid of the snapshot real quick for you guys hit the reset button going back to the split toning layer there you have it so this is the layer that we're working with what you can do as well is you can change the saturation accordingly obviously so it depends per picture how strong you want to have it you can even desaturate it entirely like so but i'm going to place it on 0.40 for this one and the same goes for the highlights you can change it accordingly as you want to i'm going to keep it as is for now another thing that you can do is you can emphasize the highlights or you can emphasize the shadows by using the balance slider if i move this to the right like so the image becomes very blue because the emphasis is on the colors of the shadows and the same goes for when I put it to the left. Now the emphasis is on the color of the highlights. So it's going to be a very orange like picture. And it kind of looks like a sepia picture. Very vintage. If this is the type of look you're going for. You can use it. But I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm going to place it back to 50. To bring it back to the starting point. Now I'm slowly going to move it to the left. Like so to make subtle changes. The compress is meant to show you guys. If you put it on 100% that means that nothing of the above will be applied to the image so this is the original image if you put it to 0% that means that all the changes that you've done over here are being applied a hundred percent to the image I'm going to place it back to 33% as it was because I like it that way so now one more time let me show you guys the before and let me show you guys the after so I'm taking another snapshot I'm selecting the snapshot and I'm selecting the original. Now keep in mind that the right side is the original side and the left side is the side that has been changed. So as I move this to the left, you will see the original picture coming back again. Like so, so one more time, this is the original image. And now let's move it all the way to the right. This is the image after I'm done with it. The last thing I want to show you guys is let me deselect the snapshot real quick for a minute. Let me go back to the layer that we were working with. The last thing I want to show you guys after you've done this and you're like, hey, I really like how this looks. I want to keep it as a preset. I don't want to redo it every time. That's easy. You go to this little symbol right here. You click it and you hit store new preset. 
you can give it a name uh, say if it needs to auto apply this preset to matching images or only show this preset for matching images I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done that and then it will be in this list down here these are the standard presets from Darktable so this is my own it's the orange and teal one the one that I've just made and that way it will save you guys a lot of time if you want to edit images the same way. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. You can find the link of this image that I've used in the description down below as well. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!